the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Buckeyes have put the first part of the season in their rearview mirror. A lot of times coaches like to break down the season into segments. A little bit more digestible. That way you don't bite off more than you can chew. They took care of business in the first part of the season. The last part, the finish line, still a little bit out of reach. Maintaining their focus in the middle of the race is the key. They want to finish on top. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. And the fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Looking for the corner. He's out of bounds to the 38-yard line. you got to love opening the game with a solid kick return like this. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Makes it out to about the 46. That makes it 62. Quick throw. Archie gets him about three yards with a completion. Nice throw and catch there to get past the sticks. When you've got a quarterback making throws that quickly, the defense doesn't have a lot of time to react to the play. And he's tackled at the 46. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. From their own 46-yard line, second down. He passes it. Almost picked off. Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. They're one of the loudest crowds in the country, and they are on their feet. Steps up in the pocket, and he hits him hard at the 39. and long here after the sack. Higgins is the punter. Got the corner. Matthews takes it to 28. He steps out at the 42-yard line. Harrison's taking the field for the first time. Kirk, you've had this feeling as something special when you're at home. It's amazing to watch certain players when they play at home and how they can have an impact on not just their own offense, maybe even their defense and the coaching staff, but the entire stadium. We've seen that over the years. Guys like Cam Newton at Auburn or going back to Tim Tebow when he was playing at Florida. And I think we're seeing the same kind of thing with this young man. Makes it to the 47. And the fullback picks up the first. Huge gain there on the ground. That's a game three on the play. play. That and makes it second and eight. eight. Watch seven. Watch seven. Watch the run. Check, check. Run, 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 run. Get it, get it. 
Gross off the left side. He's tackled at the 32-yard line. Ohio State still riding high after that record-setting performance a week ago, but he better get back to work, get his feet back on the ground. Those awards are great, but uh, the old saying is you can't rest on your laurels. He's got to get back to work here. And he's taken down at the 31-yard line. That makes it second and ten. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. Three down, three down. New Mike 52, Mike 52. Down. Oh, 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 oh. And he is drilled at the 14-yard line. This is a quarterback who trusts his receivers, and he knows they can make plays. It's like those two are playing catch out there. made around the 12 yard line. They go with a run and he's brought down in the backfield. That is a loss of two yards. That makes it third and 11. They'll line it up again on third down. Three down, three down. My 52, my 52. Set, 10, 9, cut. Slings it. Touchdown, Ohio State. Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. A nice nine play, 57-yard drive. And that's good for a touchdown. kick this one off. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Buckeyes really took care of business on defense that first time out, Perfect. One of the great traditions of college football is this defense and the way they play with such passion and enthusiasm in this environment. We're seeing that again today. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. Throws incomplete. From their own 25 yard line, second down. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And down he goes around the 37 yard line. Makes the tackle at the 37 yard line. First down. Strike to his receiver, no good. Boy, would he like to have that one back. Yeah, you're right. This offense relies so much on timing, and as you saw there, when their timing gets knocked off, they have a tough time connecting on plays like this. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. There's a strike complete. He's gobbled up in the backfield. factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. He's going left. Caught. 
He's taken down at about the 37-yard line. A heck of a play by the receiver. We talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Gains his way to the 29-yard line. And they make the stop at the 28 yard line. The crowd really making it difficult. And off, they won't make it. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Brought down around the 20-yard line. That's a DD9 on the play. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. Ohio State leads it 7-0. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Roger, Roger. Nice run to the left there. That's a game of seven. That'll bring up second and three. Nowhere to run. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Three down, three down. My five, my five, my five. Go. Go, go, go. They'll bring him down right around the 12-yard line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. And here's the 14th play of the drive. The Cyclones saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Touchdown, Cyclones! Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run will be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. So a 14-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. We're even at seven in this one. He'll return it from the four-yard line. He's taken down at the 39-yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. Caught, and this is going to be a first down. He's tackled in the open field. Takes it right. He can't get back to the line of scrimmage. That makes it second and ten. And they get 
nice yardage on that run. Dumps it complete over the middle. And he's tackled at the 41-yard line. Maybe a yard that time on the screen. That brings up fourth and three. Johnson is going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Dixon gets it on the counter left, and he's stopped behind the line. From their own 18-yard line, it's second down. They come out in a five-wide set. Looking for his man, incomplete. Really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium. And he's level at the 32. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That reception good for around four yards. He took what the defense gave him that time, which is okay. It keeps the yards to go a little bit more manageable. From their own 36-yard line, second down. at about the 43-yard line. Seven-yard gain, and that'll be a first down. Nice protection, a good pass, and even a better catch. You can't ask for much more than that. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 43. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. He goes out of bounds at about the 47-yard line. That's a gain of four on play. That'll bring up third and six. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Hey, we got to get the stop here, D. My five, my five, my five. Screen pass. He's got his half back. He's tackled at midfield. He'll try to knock this punt down inside the 20. Takes it in at the 14. He's tackled at the 24-yard line. A well, really a defensive battle going on right now so far, Kirk. Well, the defenses are flying around the football, doing a good job. I think both offenses are making it a little easier because of their style of game plan. I think uh, the offensive coordinator, take a few chances. Be willing to open it up and try to give your quarterback a chance to make a play. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. He's pushed out of bounds around the 34-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. That's a great tackle at the 44-yard line. I love the blitz, but the quarterback did a really good job of seeing it and reading it, and then standing tall in the pocket to find his man for the first. Now 
now he's scrambling. The Buckeyes call a timeout. That's their second of the half. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Now he tries to buy some time. And he tackles him hard at the 46-yard line. Scrambling around. There's a very impressive open field tackle. He's scrambling. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. At this point, boys, you're playing against the defense and the clock. So you might want to consider to hurry things up. They're about four yards away here on third down. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. Wants to go long and does. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. So we've played two quarters. We get a tie game at 7-7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers, but at the same time taking care of the pigskin. And they better value that thing because, yeah, you give it away and bad things happen. David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house it belongs to Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He's out to the 30. He gets out to about the 32-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Under pressure. He lets it fly. And he's hit immediately. Him hard at the two. Game three on the way. That'll bring up third and inches. Touchdown, Buckeyes. converts the extra point. So a four-play, 67-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Bellamy has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
Tackle at the 20-yard line. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Steps up in the pocket. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 20. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. That's a nice six-yard gain. You get six yards, and that makes picking up a first down very reasonable. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. He sails it long. He gets to about the 27-yard line. Tackle made around the 9-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. He makes it to the nine. That brings in second and goal. Gets out to about the nine-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. They can get some protection. They might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. And this play is number eight on the drive. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Quick throw. And down he goes at the one. Fourth down. They're going to go for the easy three here. The kick is up, and they tack on three points. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding them to a field goal right there. Ward ready to kick. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Iowa State's a team that nobody gave a chance today, but they're right where they want to be. I think just the mindset of this football team, they need to be complimented for that because it's easy to come in, be a bit intimidated, be a bit overwhelmed. They've put that to the side, gone out and executed, and I think the longer they've stayed in this game, the more confidence that it's instilled. He's taken down at the 39. Ohio State holds a four-point lead. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. Good penetration by the defense. That's a loss of one on the option. From their own 38-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. Slides down to the ground. Well, they didn't pick up the first down, but he saw that no one was open, so he made the right decision to tuck it and run. He's going to try and scramble. Brought down at the 48-yard line.
Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. Brought down at the 29-yard line. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 27. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Here's a screen pass, gets it to the back. Very good tackle in space. We're headed to the fourth quarter and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. Ohio State's up by four. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Higgins awaits the snap. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. So we're early in the fourth quarter. Still a lot of football left, but in a game this tight, every possession is going to make a difference. Ohio State is up by four. They'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. First down, and he's out of bounds. Keep those chains moving. Just a simple out route that time, and it was enough to beat the zone defense. Plenty of time, and now he's on the move. He's at the 30. Breaks one. Knocked out of bounds at about the 19-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. He looked totally in control on that keeper. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Bellamy looks ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 28. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. Makes it to the 41. That's a game 
and 13 on the play. First down. And he's tackled at the 47. Makes the grab. That's, That's good, good for a gain of 12 yards. yards. First, First down. down. I smell fear in that offense. I smell fear in that offense. High five. Shit, shit. And he's level at the 48. He's under pressure. And he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. And he is drilled at the 34. Back-to-back -back sacks. Well, they're definitely using that crowd noise to their advantage here as they make another big sack. Matthews back to return it. He's taken down at the 38. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Less than three minutes in the game. Tackled at the 41. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. From their own 41 yard line, second down. He's at midfield. Tackle at the 42 yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. Iowa State will take their first time out of the half. Makes it to the 34. A nice job by the offensive line, and they pick up a gain of eight. The Cyclones use their second time out. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. You know, the offense right now just seems to be managing the clock. And another first down, they'll move the sticks, start the clock again, but offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry at this point. Got an opening. Makes it to the 17. From the 17-yard line. It's first down. The 10. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Erupting over there as their quarterback got to the end zone. What a run. What a big moment in this game. The quarterback takes it into the end zone for a potential game-winning touchdown. They have good reason to be celebrating on those sidelines. And he hits the PAT. 
So a seven play 62 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. The score now 28 10 and it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's tackled at the 26 yard line. I'm sure there are a lot of fans out there hoping for a miracle, but I seriously doubt we're going to see one today. Under a minute left in the game. Throws after the running back, no good. You know, sometimes the toughest throws to make for a quarterback is when he has a wide receiver wide open, and everybody in the stands is saying, throw it, throw it and you aim the football instead of just getting back in rhythm, stepping, and throwing. And that time, he aimed the ball, and it was incomplete. And he's taken down at the 26. Quick strike to the receiver. They come out on an empty backfield. He passes it. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his ball right in the passing lane. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. Ohio State's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. And he'll just take a knee here to kill the clock. Football 14 for Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports. Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.